on Five News. It's now or never. Your vote just a couple of hours away will tell you exactly what's at stake. Also tonight, banned from British airspace, Boeing's... Hello and welcome to Five News. I'm Sean Williams. This is it then. In just a couple of hours, MPs will decide whether they want the Prime Minister's Brexit deal and if they reject it again, well, we really are in uncharted waters. After last night's mercy dash to the EU in Strasbourg and clarification from the government's chief lawyer, Theresa May came to the Commons today with a croaky voice but a strong message. I've done my best. This is a better deal. Back it or you risk no Brexit. Well, the numbers aren't looking good for her at the moment, and there are mutterings about a general election if she loses. First things first, though, where are we now? Let's speak to our political editor, Andy Bell, who joins us from Westminster. Andy, how is that last-minute plea going down there? Well, we've just over a fortnight until we're meant to leave the EU. What do those who voted in that referendum more than two and a half years ago make of what's going on? Miranda Shunker spent the day in the town of Hastings in East Sussex, the scene of past bloody battles. Today, trying to make sense of what the future holds. Well, that's the people. Let's go back to Parliament. We'll hear from Andy Bell in just a moment. Let's go inside, though, and speak to our chief correspondent, Tessa Chapman. Not long to go, Tessa. What's the mood like? Andy, Andy, the vote's at seven. What's going to happen? Other news today. Police say a group calling itself the IRA is claiming to be behind parcel bombs sent to Britain last week. Devices sent... The UK has joined other countries in banning flights that use the Boeing 737 MAX plane, one of which crashed in Ethiopia two days ago. Authorities say it's a precautionary measure while they wait for information from the plane's black box. More details are now emerging about the nine Britons known to be among those who were killed. Leila Hayes reports. Is here. Leila, the aircraft manufacturer, is insisting the plane is safe. Some countries banning it from their airspace. How unusual is that? Well, this is highly unusual. Coming up on Five News, we'll see you after the break. Welcome back. Two climbers have died and another two have been injured after being caught in an avalanche on Ben Nevis. Police say they were alerted to the incident on the UK's highest mountain just before 12 o'clock. Let's get some more details on this because Gavin Ramjan is here with me. What more can you tell us, Gavin? Well, this is the developing story, Sean. Uh, several climbers uh, were... Exactly 30 years ago, the British computer scientist Tim Berners-Lee wrote a proposal for what he called a free open, permissionless space for all of humanity to share knowledge and ideas. He called it the World Wide Web. Today, the web is an integral, even unavoidable part of our lives, but is today's birthday a cause for celebration? Well, not according to its inventor. Here's Catherine Nash. ...to different computers to access the individual information that that computer held, that he wanted to create a revolutionary system whereby a single computer would have access to all the information. It is a prized piece of pop memorabilia, a tape believed to be the first ever recording of Starman by David Bowie. Incredibly, for nearly 50 years, it had been gathering dust in a box packed away in a loft. Today, the demo went up for auction where it fetched a pretty decent sum. Danny Sinha has the story. It is cash in your attic, isn't it? That is it for now. Claire Nazir has the weather for you next. Uh, don't forget, Claudia Lies is back at 6.30 with that Brexit special. I'll see you again soon. Thanks very much for watching tonight. Bye-bye for now.